horror in Florida's heartland. But he says at one point to our detectives, they begged for their lives and I killed them anyway. A family massacred in Polk County. When you see somebody so heartless, so calculated, that they will shoot a mother clinging to her three-month-old baby and kill the baby and shoot the family dog. This guy is heartless and calculated. Deputies still trying to figure out why the family was targeted. We find zero connection at this point in the investigation. And wonder if this could have been prevented. But the reality of it is this nation doesn't do enough for those that are mentally ill. Four people killed in an early morning shooting, one of them an infant. The horrific scene leaving a community in shock. The suspect is a veteran who served in Afghanistan. Fox 35's Jessica Ely is live tonight at the Polk County Sheriff's Office. And Jessica, a news conference just wrapped up. What are we learning about the suspect? So we actually just learned the suspect's name. He is 33 year old Brian Riley from Brandon, Florida. He was actually just escorted by deputies uh, to the county jail. Now he is accused. He's an ex Marine. He is accused of shooting five people, killing four of them, including a baby. And the sheriff's deputies here in Polk County tell us that so far they haven't found a connection between the suspect and his victims. An early morning shootout unfolds at a Lakeland home. Deputies rushed to the scene around 430 in the morning after calls of an active shooter. When they arrive, they find a pickup truck on fire. A man dressed in body armor runs into the home. Deputies hear rounds of gunfire, a woman scream and a baby cry. After checking for booby traps inside the home, scenes of horror. And what we find as we enter upon hearing sounds, we find an 11 year old child shot multiple times. A man, a woman, and an infant in the mother's arms all shot to death. We went to the house directly behind and found another lady shot to death. Four people dead and a child seriously hurt. But it wasn't over yet. The suspect emerged from the home and ran around back of the house. He was ready for battle. The suspect started shooting at deputies. They returned fire. Eventually, the suspect surrendered. He came out with his hands up, and that's why there was no further gunfire. It would have been nice if he'd come out with a gun, and then we'd have been able to read a newspaper through him, and we'd have had a different conversation here this morning. But when someone chooses to give up, we take them into custody peacefully. If he'd given us the opportunity, we'd have shot him up a lot. But he didn't, because he was a coward. Now, Riley's girlfriend told Polk County deputies that he suffered from depression and possibly PTSD as well. Like I said, he is an ex-Marine. Now, we are working to find out more information about the victims. Reporting from Polk County, Jessica Ely, Fox 35 News.